You're able to kind of decipher things a little bit better than someone who has a totally blank slate of knowledge and sees something that seems like a quick fix and seems like something that would be awesome, but neglects the fact to do some research on that topic and understand it a little bit more thoroughly before making the investment. So, so I know I just asked you guys about which video topic you'd like to see and one of those options was supplements, but I feel the need because I just saw a story from my boy Christopher Barricott about this same exact thing. Um, and it's just about the supplement industry and how much BS is out there. So he was talking about the Instagram ads and um, the things that you see as a sponsored ad now on Instagram, especially with the guy shirtless who's telling you that you need to find the diet that works for your body type. And that's the reason why you're not losing weight. My buddy Nick Eisler sent me a message the other day that was on Snapchat sponsored stories talking about how that there's this magic pill that helps you lose a ton of weight, like 50 pounds or something crazy like that in four weeks just by taking a pill. Now, I don't know about you guys. And just by common sense, I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't make sense to me. And I know it might seem like the awesome thing to be buying because it's going to be something that happens like that, but it's not going to. And I can guarantee you that. Christopher also talked about how the consumer really needs to educate themselves on things like this because otherwise you're going to be taken advantage of. And to be able to educate yourself allows you to make rational decisions on whether that is logical or not. And in today's world, you really don't have an excuse to not be able to find more information about something you're going to be purchasing or something you just want more information on because there's things like Google, PubMed, Examine.com that have reputable information for absolutely free to help you. And I hate to break it to you guys, but there really is no excuse nowadays for not finding this information. There's tons and tons of free Instagrams, free YouTube channels with people who are putting their time and effort into finding information that you can benefit from and learn from. What is going on guys? Hopefully you are doing well and thank you for clicking on the video. If you cannot already tell, that clip you just saw was actually from one of my Insta stories a few days back talking about supplements, kind of what I feel about them and kind of how the fitness industry has so much BS um, when it comes to marketing and just kind of the, the sheer amount of supplements that are out there and um, it's kind of hard to navigate through what is what and what you should kind of be shooting for, what you should be taking and what you shouldn't be. So. I kind of want to give you guys some value here showing you what I would recommend everyone take and then even more in depth kind of talk about what I would recommend you guys avoid as a consumer because the more informed and the more research you kind of do about products and about what is necessary um, as far as supplements and what isn't, the less you'll waste your money and the less you'll kind of be wrapped in on those hoaxes or those quick fixes that you often see people buying and not seeing results from. The three things, like I said, that I would recommend pretty much everyone take that you can bank on the fact that everyone could benefit from these is a multivitamin, fish oil, and a probiotic. So first, like I said, a multivitamin. So multivitamins are something I recommend everyone take just because in today's world, it's near impossible to get in the proper amount of vitamins and minerals from veggies and fruits alone. So being that with that being said you're kind of at a, at a disadvantage like i said in today's world because our nutritional value in those fruits and veggies is not near the amounts that it used to be so you can read up on studies about this but it's almost like an insurance policy to help yourself with um, a, a multivitamin so be sure to stay away from super super high-end expensive multivitamins even though they might get the job done and they're probably really great you don't need to spend an arm and a leg to get a good multivitamin but on the other end of the spectrum you want to make sure that you're not spending just a super low amount of money on like the store brands or the brands that have additives like artificial colors or different additives that keep the shelf life longer just stay away from that so the second thing I would recommend everyone take is a fish oil supplement. So fish oil, once again, just like a multivitamin, you want to make sure that you're getting a reputable fish oil. The benefits of fish oil are going to be from the omega-3s within the fish oil itself. So when it comes to supplements, there's three things that I recommend everyone take. A multivitamin, fish oil, and probiotic. Like I said, these are three things that I believe everyone can have benefits from. Aside from this, there's other things that you can definitely find benefits from, but only if it's necessary. So finding what you're deficient in is very crucial to finding what supplements can actually help you supplement your diet. Getting right into things, a multivitamin, like I said, is a great supplement to your diet. This is because it is nearly impossible to get in the proper amount of um, vitamins and minerals from fruits and veggies um, that we have available to us today. So 
like I said, this is almost like an insurance policy to help you ensure that you're getting in the proper amount of vitamins and minerals every single day. The one caveat with this is you don't want to be spending an astronomical amount of money on some high-end multivitamin, which probably does a great job, but you also don't want to be spending a little, little amount of money on like a store brand, something that has additives in it that help the store um, with the shelf life or have even artificial colors or things like that that are absolutely unnecessary. So you want to kind of find that middle ground of something that is reputable, something that has good quality to it, but isn't going to rip your arm and a leg off every time you have to re-up on multivitamins. So that's kind of my spiel on multivitamins. Moving right along into fish oil. Fish oil is something that is going to have a ton of omega-3s in it, which are going to help you with a host of things. So omega-3s are going to help with heart health, muscle, brain, you name it, joint, there's tons of things that you're going to benefit from from getting omega-3s in. And um, omega-3s are something that you have to get in from your diet. So being able to supplement this in, um, not only from the food that you eat, but like eggs are a perfect example of great um, source of omega-3s from the yolk, but you're able to get this in with a supplement and get that in every single day, even on the days where you're not eating um, those eggs. So when it comes to the third and final thing that I would recommend someone take, this would be a probiotic. A probiotic is something that has a ton of research out on it right now, but the overall consensus seems to be that you're going to benefit from taking it. Essentially, you're taking good bacteria and lining the digestive system with it to help promote gut health. This is not only going to help with your digestive system, but there's tons of research actually out there coming out that's showing that it has effects on sleep and even brain function. So this is something that you can definitely bank on the fact that you're going to benefit from taking. So before I end this video, I think I kind of summed up how I feel about the BS marketing used in the fitness industry earlier in the video. But what I want to leave you guys with is just some points to use if you're faced with some possible BS marketing and you want to kind of determine whether it's BS or not. The main thing I would always recommend you think about is whether it's too good to be true or not. This is something that can be easily determined. If you have common sense, you can understand that, yes, it's going to take a little bit of work to get something that has a bit of reward to it. So let's say someone says, hey, in four weeks, you can lose 50 pounds. Okay, maybe someone who has an astronomical, a large amount of weight to lose could lose a large amount of weight in four weeks, but it's all going to be subjective based on that person, based on all the things that they're doing within that four weeks. So for them to guarantee you that in four weeks, you can get the same exact results as someone else, it's literally a lie. So things like that, too good to be true, it probably is. My last thing is just do your research. If you're willing to do more research on the product, not only are you going to find out whether it is BS or not, but if it is a good product, you're able to find out why it is a good product and also what is benefiting you from that specific product. Is it for performance? Is it for recovery? Is it for both? You can kind of, you, you literally are learning on the spot and not only benefiting yourself for what you're actually spending your money on, but you're able to open up your horizons, which allows you to learn information that you can use going forward. So. Once you kind of learn the, the, the specifics of what is BS and what isn't and kind of what is real and what isn't and what's realistic and what isn't realistic, you're able to kind of decipher things a little bit better than someone who has a totally blank slate of knowledge and sees something that seems like a quick fix and seems like something that would be awesome but neglects the fact to do some research on that topic and understand it a little bit more thoroughly before making the investment. So hopefully you guys understand that. Hopefully you're able to take some benefits from this video. Like I said, if you have questions on specific supplements that I take, specific fish oil, multivitamin, probiotic that I recommend, let me know, drop a comment below, or I can always answer your questions on my Instagram DM, um, which is where I want you guys to send me questions for these videos. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace out. You already know what I've been on. You know where I be at.